Okay, like I said, it's an 89 uh, Cressida. Um, it's got the, uh, well, we'll get to that part later. Let's just go ahead and go around. You can see that uh, the paint's faded off the bumper. Um, the hood paint is okay, but the uh, clear coat is worn off. This is a California, Arizona car. Um, there is absolutely not a spot of rust on this car, but the whole top is uh, faded from the sun. So um, the clear coat's gone on everything on the top. Um, passenger front fender, you can see that clear coat there where it's gone. Uh, you know, factory wheels. This has got almost new tires. They're older tires, several years old, but they're they're probably, I'd say, 85% tread on them still. Um, windshield, unfortunately, does have a couple cracks in it across the bottom. And up there, you can see just fine driving it, so that's not a problem. Uh... You know, this, you can see the whole side here. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no rust. There's, there's, uh, you know, no corrosion. There's a couple little small dings here and there on it. There's a little one right here by the um, uh, gas filler cap. It, uh, it does have a sunroof. Uh, that opens, full, that rolls all the way back or just tilts up however you want it. Um, you can see up there on the roof that the, the paint and everything's kind of faded on that. Um, it's got that power antenna thing that works just fine. Um, the heated rear window. Rear bumper is, uh, the paint's faded off of that. Um, it, I, it needs to get the key part of the trunk lock replaced. I had to break into it, um, because the thing... Uh, it, well, it's stuck or something. I don't know. And I had to bust that lock out to get the trunk to open. It does ha have a um, a remote thing. I guess you'd call it up there by the driver's seat that pops the trunk, though. So that doesn't really need to be there. But, you know, it needs. And then this is the this is the biggest dent of the whole car right there. So you can see this side was the side that faced the sun most of the time. So it... Uh, it lost a little bit more of the clear coat. But it's, um, like I said, it's good, solid car. Uh, drives just perfect. You could you can take this thing, you know, across the country, you know, go on a road trip with it. It's just fine. Huh. What's that little guy doing there? Hello, little critter. You gonna go for a ride? Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pop the hood and the doors, and we'll go ahead and get in and do an interior view. Okay, here's the engine under the hood. Um, a 7M GE motor in it, which translates to be a 3.0 liter uh, six-cylinder engine, in, inline six-cylinder engine, dual overhead cam, 24 valve, fuel injected, and this sucker runs like a freaking racetrack car. Um, this thing just hauls down the highway. I just replaced the valve cover gaskets. They were leaking. And I replaced all the uh, plug wires on it. So it runs really nice. Everything else in here is just as clean, nice as can be. Everything works. Um, so let's see. What else? Oh, yeah. We got to get it inside. All right. Doors are locked. That one's not. Okay. Uh, here's the back of it. Um, the seats are good. There's no rips, tears, or anything. I believe they're probably sun faded because uh, the car should be brown. But I guess the seats and stuff, you know, I think they're supposed to be this color. Because if you look at all the upper parts of the door, they're the same color. And then the bottom parts are brown. So there's no way I guess it could have faded everything like this. But all good. Carpet's nice. Um, over here. This door open. 
Let's see. I don't know if I just unlocked it or locked it. I guess I locked it. I don't know. Maybe I don't need to open that door. Um, okay, here's the uh, driver's side, passenger side. You can see everything's nice and clean here. Well, not necessarily that clean, but there's nothing wrong. There's no problems anywhere. Um, getting inside here, you can see the dashes cracked up pretty bad from the sun. Uh, we are going to put a, um, a dash cover over this to, you know, to cover that up, make it look a little nicer. Uh, here's, here's the good part about this car. I don't know if it's a good part or not. Uh, this thing has every single option I think Toyota had when they built this car. There's more stuff in here than, than, you know, you can even figure it out. This thing here slides in and out. There's buttons all over on it, up there, down there. There's stuff down here. There all kinds of things that you push and pull and do stuff with. Um, you know, like I said, it's got that cool sunroof uh you know everything works the only thing that doesn't work is this back door uh on this side this it doesn't pop loose from the outside but it opens just fine from the inside so i don't know there's something something must have came off there I don't, I don't know for sure what, but, you know, it's not really a major thing. But, uh, you know, you could see this thing is just as nice. There's nothing wrong with this car. Um, and I know for a fact that it was an Arizona, uh, California car. Um, because I happen to know the previous owners of it. So, um, I know where the car was its whole life. So, anyways... It has, yeah, well, it's just, it's just got a regular old automatic with a bunch of other extra stuff. Um, that's pretty much it. Not really much else to tell. You can see it's in really nice shape. It's really clean underneath here. Um, you know, like I said, I put new valve cover gaskets and plug wires, so it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get to like the business part of this video. Okay, guys, so you got to look at the car. Uh, here's all the details on it. I'm asking $47.50 for it. Um, the car has 177,000 miles on it, which I believe are probably uh, accurate. Because like I said, I, I know, know the people who own this car for like ever. And uh, so I'm sure those are accurate miles. Um, the car runs and drives excellent. You could get in this car here and drive it across completely across the country and i i pretty much could guarantee you you wouldn't have a problem at all with it it just it's just a great car um i don't really know what else i could tell you on it uh like i said about the only thing that's really bad is that dash cover and we're going to replace that so it'll look nice um so anyways what i'll do is in the description i'm going to go ahead and leave a uh a number a phone number that would be a text number for me if you have questions uh, anything like that go ahead and just text me at that number and um, you know I'll answer the questions the best I can and stuff so and then we'll just go from there so let's go ahead and end this video uh, it doesn't need to get real long or anything and just uh, you know um, I don't just thanks for watching and uh, I hope somebody wants to get a really good car I got way too many cars I don't need it